So the good news is we screwed up the calculations and tax revenue is coming in faster than we thought. Evan Davis presents Newsnight and Dragon's Den. He's also one of the biggest economics experts in the building. And we asked him to come and explain some new figures. They're from the Office for Budget Responsibility. It's an independent expert body that works out how much money the country has. And these latest figures show the country does actually have more money than we thought. 10 to £15 billion extra this year that we didn't think we'd have. The projection is that that money will be, the revenues are going to be stronger every year for the next year. So it's not just one-off? Not just a one-off. Why? Because the economy is doing... Yeah, so well, it just seems, you know, it's quite hard to pro- predict what the tax revenues are going to be. Um, there does seem to be a little bit of extra growth in the economy, um, a little bit of extra inflation in the economy, which actually pushes up tax revenues. And that is going to mean, over the next few years, this is the, the crux of this, a lot of the government's difficult decisions over public spending will be made easier. At the moment, they're projecting a sort of continued squeeze on some departments, really mean squeeze on some departments. And they're projecting a little bit of extra money for the NHS. It would be really nice to give that extra money to the NHS and not have to squeeze all the other departments. £30 billion every year over the next few years would make all these decisions much easier. And then you genuinely could say austerity is at an end. We've already got 10 to 15 of that just from this miscalculation on the finances. And then there's one other place we can go for some extra money. The government's kind of projecting it to to, to get borrowing down, to eradicate borrowing in the middle of the next decade. Well, we perhaps don't have to eradicate borrowing. We can allow ourselves a bit of borrowing. That would still be financially responsible. 